Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here is this. We will look at three different areas sort of separately, if that makes sense. We will look at the overall energy for the sign of Pisces for the months of April. Before we go into your emotional core, see what, what can go, see if there's any healing that needs to happen or maybe love is coming in, right? And then we will look at opportunities. And opportunities are, for the most part, about whatever it is that sustains you financially, if that makes sense. And I'm very excited because I am Pisces. <laughs> and when I record videos, I always sort of start with the first sign to the last sign. And since Aries is the first sign, Pisces, we are the last sign within the wheel. <laughs> so I always record Pisces last, right? So anyway, um, let's have a look what we got for Pisces for the month of April 2022. Now, remember, we're moving out of Pisces. Um, into Taurus, if that makes sense. So energetically speaking, we will feel a slight dip around the 20th when we actually move from being in our strengths, being in our sign to the next sign, right? Um, how much it's affecting um, you uh, individually, I cannot tell you. The point is, it is normal when you move from one sign to the next and when you move, especially when you move from your sign to another one, that because you were in your sign, because we were in our sign, if that makes sense, um, we had basically four weeks of really being, feeling super empowered simply because we are in the dominant energy. And that sort of shifts to Taurus around the 20th of April. Ultimately, a lot of people won't even notice, but because we are Pisces, which is a super spiritual and a super deep sign, you may feel it. And the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because I have the feeling, therefore, since we're moving into Taurus on the 20th, to make any important decisions in the month of April 2022 before the 20th. Right? Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at your overall energy for the month of April. And it's interesting because the guides are giving me only one card to work with for us Pisceans. And it is a really awesome card at that. Let me just show it to you. Openness. Openness. And it's interesting because it is depicted by the moon. In April, all of us Pisceans, we will very likely go through different phases because every time the moon comes in as a depiction, it's denoting, right? Not everything is the way, um, not everything is static, you know, there, there will be changes coming our way. Um, but we have gone through many phases before and we will just go through them again. And openness means is to go for all of us, uh, for every Piscean here. Remember, it's a general reading, so I know it doesn't necessarily resonate with all of you. But that one resonates and is supposed to resonate with every Piscean watching. Go with the flow, be open, whatever hits you this month. Be open and confident that you will not only get through, but you will thrive because you experience it. So the openness energy here is really empowering energy, which is good because, like I said, we're moving into another, we're moving out of our sign into another sign, which could dip our energy and then we have the openness card that says don't worry about it guys <laughs> right you're going through different phases oftentimes anyway you will just be awesome but be open about whatever the future holds that's a very good um and positive overall energy for the sign of pisces for the month of april 2022 now you're watching thomas's tarot page with myself thomas Yannack. Please like, subscribe, and share. And with no further ado, let's look at your emotions, right? And it's interesting because we have wonders and solitude. Now, wonders and 
solitude. With regards to how we're feeling, it's quite interesting because wonders does not depict the need for healing, for massive healing. It doesn't depict that. Wonders means acknowledging how far we've come, right? So look at your life. Remember we had the moon phases earlier. So maybe reflect on your life and look at stuff. But wonders really means for us Pisceans and for you there watching is to acknowledge how far you've come and because we have solitude with regards to anything we feel emotionally oversharing in April is not a good idea there will be times where we're better off um, reflecting on our own so if there uh, should there be times in April where you say to your loved ones um, I need a day to myself that's perfectly fine just say it right if they're really your people, they will understand. Okay, so um, that was the emotions. That was rather quick. <laughs> and now, finally, we're going into um, opportunities as they present themselves to us Pisceans in the month of April 2022. And we have leadership. Very interesting. Leadership. Now, in other words, don't wait for opportunities to come your way. Be in charge of what it is you want to do. Make it so, as Captain Picard says, make it so. That's what I'm getting, right? that very phrase, make it so. We have leadership. So if you want to progress somewhere, if there's anyone else involved that needs to make this happen without having to impress someone, you show them what you can do. Right? And you share your thoughts on things that will very likely outclass the other person because you're the leader here in that energy. Um, you will be just fine. right? But show some leadership. And it is very interesting that the depiction of the leadership is a polar bear. Can you see that? So while you're being asked to make opportunities happen yourself we have the depiction of a polar bear and bears are about healing are about understanding that things sometimes take time and of all the bears the polar bear is the most vulnerable but because you have leadership what that really means for us Pisceans is it doesn't matter if you shit yourself Pardon my French, right? If you are really scared to, to take that leap, take it anyway. Be in charge, right? Even if you have to convince yourself, this is quite a risk, so be it, right? Be the leader your soul knows you can be. You will be able to acknowledge your vulnerability in any of your decisions anyway, right? But it is not in the forefront all that, that um, Paul Abbe here literally acknowledges is that it is perfectly fine to feel vulnerable. But no matter how hard it is for the polar bear, you would not mess with one. Okie dokie, my dear fellow Pisceans, that was all we got for this month. You are watching Thomas's Tower page. Please like, subscribe and share. And I don't care. If you don't know how many people on your Facebook list um, are Pisces, share it anyway because it helps me grow the channel. Right? Thank you so much. Bye bye.